Let's study about a new chapter called Natural Vegetation and Wildlife. So natural Vegetation means this can be divided as that part of the earth which has plant cover and without which grows without any human intervention. So for example say forest. Forest is completely green in color. Nobody plants the trees in the forest and it grows by its own. So it is known as natural vegetation. And natural ve and next is wildlife. Wildlife means all the non-domesticated animals and other organisms found in a particular place. Other than the animals which we domesticate in our home. All other animals and all other organisms found in a particular place are referred as wildlife. So natural vegetation is divided into three categories. Let's see what are these three categories. So first type of natural vegetation is forest. Forest, e, forest means a land which has dense cover of trees and shrubs. So forests grow well in regions which have good amount of sunlight, high temperature and adequate rainfall. Everybody might have seen a forest. This is the image of a forest. Next type of natural vegetation is grassland. So a land where grasses and grass like plants grow and they are dominant form of plant life. It is known as grassland. So they re grow in regions which receive moderate amount of rainfall. This is an image of a grassland. So next is shrublands. Shrublands means low woody and perennial plants are known as shrubs. So thorny shrubs are also there and normal shrubs are also there. They grow mostly in the dry regions of the world like the deserts. This is an example of a shrubland. Next is tropical evergreen forest. So they are found in a tropical zone. 23 and half degrees north latitude to 23 and half degrees south latitude. Here rainfall is less than 200 centimeters and temperature ranges from 15 degrees to 30 degrees centigrade and these forests cover 7% of the total earth's land surface and constitutes 50% of the world's plants and animals. So these tropical evergreen forests, they are also known as selvas or equatorial forests. They are found in regions such as Amazon, Orinaco of South America, Southeast Asian countries like Indonesia and Malaysia. And in India, they are found in Western Ghats of Karnataka and Kerala states. What are the features? So, tropical evergreen forests are always dense and multi-layered. Trees are very close to each other. They form a huge canopy or cover which doesn't allow sunlight to reach the ground. So, when sunlight ma manages to reach the ground, there is lot of growth of undergrowth, herbs and shrub plants. If sunlight doesn't reach, then no shrubs and herbs will grow. So trees all over here are mostly tall and hardwood trees such as mahogany, ebony and rosewood and bamboos and reeds are also found in this area. Rainfall occurs throughout the year in these regions. The leaves of the trees are very broad and the rate of transpiration that is evaporation of water is very high. This is a tropical level. What type of animals are found in these forests? Animals such as reptiles, lizards, turtles, alligators, crocodiles, and chameleons, apes, gorillas, squirrels, many species of birds, pythons, cobra snakes, pit vipers, and crates. All these variety of animals are found in the tropical evergreen forest. Next is tropical deciduous forest. They are also known as monsoon forest. It is found in the monsoon region of the world. Rainfall is around 150 centimeters and temperature ranges from 20 degrees centigrade to 48 degrees centigrade and in which regions are they found? They are found in Asia, Mexican region of Central America, Peru, Brazil, northern parts of Australia and also India. This is an image of tropical deciduous forest. What are the features of these forests? The trees shed their leaves during the dry season and then to prevent the moisture loss due to transpiration. So teak is the dominant species found in this forest. Sal, sandalwood, shisham, hurra, bamboo or other valuable species. So the animals found in this region are tigers, leopards, elephants, gore, foxes, langurs, deer and hornbill. This is an example of langur. Next is Mediterranean forests. 
this is an image of mediterranean forest in europe they grow between the latitudes 30 degrees north and 45 degrees south they are found in coastal parts of europe africa and asia bordering the mediterranean sea southern california central chile and southern western australia regions also they are found what are the features of mediterranean forests so the trees and shrubs which grow here they have adapted to the mediterranean climate what do you understand by mediterranean climate that means usually the summers are dry and mild and the winters are very much wet so forests are known for their fruit bearing like orange trees olive trees and they are also known as orchards of the earth so grapes are mainly cultivated in this region and also trees like oaks olives figs pines oranges and beeches are found here animal life squirrels wood rats deer rabbits foxes lizards snakes leopards chilean fox and birds such as kites hawks are found here so this is an image of a chilean fox next is temperate evergreen forests they are found in regions where there is high rainfall they are distributed over southeastern america southeastern brazil uruguay south china eastern coast of south africa southeastern australia and also parts of new zealand what are the features of these forest they are mixed forest the timber of these forest is very much valuable and trees such as oak acacia pine and eucalyptus are found here and animals such as beavers mice rats squirrels chipmunks and porcupines are found here this is an image of beaver next is temperate deciduous forest they are found along the coastal beds of cool climatic regions with a moderate rainfall of 70 to 80 cm and the temperature is around 20 degrees centigrade these type of forests are found in northeastern part of usa northeastern china western europe new zealand and south chile this is an image of temperate deciduous forest in autumn season so these deciduous forests they see four different seasons spring summer autumn and winter so in autumn the colors on the leaves of the trees change and winter which is usually dry the trees in the forest lose their leaves and are almost bare trees such as oak ash beech maple chestnut cherry walnut sweet gum are found here how is the animal life varieties of animals are found raccoons foxes deers wolves pandas birds such as pheasants and monal are also found here next is taiga forests they are found in northern regions of canada and eurasia taiga forests are also known as boreal forests large areas of these forests are dominated by only single tree species and these trees are mostly softwood evergreen trees they have sharp and narrow needle like leaves being softwood the trees are easy to cut and very light trees found here are spruce silver fir birch and cedar and the animals found here are silver fox mink next is tidal forest also known as mangrove forest they are found around the coastal regions so they are in india they are found along the ganga delta known as sundarbans they are also found in coastal regions of japan china sri lanka australia north america south america and etc the features of these forests are they are very much abundant in the intertidal zones near the deltas they survive in both fresh and salt water and the mangrove trees they develop aerial roots which hold the trunk and leaves above the water and these make excellent fishing grounds also next is tropical grasslands also known as savannas they are found in northern africa brazilian plateau and northern australia in india they are found in deccan plateau region and also at terai at the base of himalayas so the grasses in this savanna region they are very coarse dry stiff and hard and very long they grow up to 3 to 5 meters in length annual rainfall is almost 25 to 75 cm temperature is always hotter this tall grass enables the animals to camouflage themselves that is to hide whenever the prey comes in these grasses so it is easy to move through these grasslands as there is abundant open space 
and very few trees are scattered over there. In India, these type of grasslands are found in Deccan Plateau and Terai. This is the image of savannas. Animal life in these areas, they support large herbivores, giraffes, zebras, antelopes, elephants, buffaloes, warthogs, wolves, rhinos, deers are found here. Next is temperate grasslands. They are found in interior of the continents. They have different re- names in different regions such as steppes in Eurasia, priaries in the foothills of Rockies, pampas in Argentina and Uruguay of South America, wells in South Africa and downs in Australia. So this grass is very short but it is rich in nutrients and then they make excellent grazing grounds for the cattle. Cattle rearing and sheep rearing is the main occupation here. Extensive cultivation is practiced and crops grown are wheat and corn. In India they are found in Himalayan regions. And variety of animals are found here like buffaloes, bison, zebra and hyenas. Next is tropical thorn forest and shrubs. So in India the thorn forests are found typically in the Thar desert of Rajasthan and also it extends up to Pakistan. What are the features of thorn forest? So they are found in regions where it receives low rainfall. Vegetation cover is very low here. Trees are stunted. Leaves are waxy, shiny and thorny. So trees have tapering long radial roots so that they go deep into the ground for the search of water. This is an image of thorn forest. There are many varieties of animals found here such as camels, vultures, moles, pigeons, hedgehogs and parakeets. Next is tundra forest. They are found in cold desert regions. Arctic belt, Antarctic belt and high reaches of mountains have this vegetation. So the, what are the features? Precipitation occurs only in the form of snowfall and most of the land is covered with ice sheets and continental glaciers. So there is hardly any vegetation here. Mosses, lichens and small shrubs go here. So this is the tundra for tundra region. Animal life, reindeer, musk oxen, yaks, polar bears are some of the animals found in these.